Alright, so we're back. Part 2. Um, I did this without you guys, but I'll just show you what I did. Because um, this is being a pain in the ass, number one. But what you're going to want to do is... Give me a minute. Um, before you get to the point where I'm at right now, what you need to do is this cap, as you're going to notice, is going to be in here. And there's these two little holes, and you're just going to bang up on them with a punch like this. And I'll show you on my shock. You get mine out of the box. I'll show you what I mean. You can see this part. This is what I'm talking about. I'm just going to come in with a punch from behind it and stick it in there and just bang it out, and it'll come out this way. And it'll be all good. That's what I did while we were off camera, so that's what you're wondering. And by the way, this shock has not been leaking, so it's all good. But now we're going to get back to business. Um, I'm going to show you guys what's up. Well, let me show you now. I put this zip tie on here to keep all this stuff from falling down on me because it's really annoying. So just get that up. And the shock shaft keeps pumping down because there's nothing in this and it's just it's old and the seals suck so what you're gonna want to do is I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this but what you'll notice is let me point to it right here is a clip on the head seal it goes from here all the way around to right here what you're gonna want to do is just pull that clip right off it's this tiny a little one right there. And through that, I'm going to use a screwdriver, one handed. Hopefully, I can hold this camera straight. And I'm just going to basically push. I'm going to do this while you guys are on the stand. So give me a minute. Um, but you're going to want to just kind of push that, spread that clip apart, and it should you know, pop over the top of the head seal like it just did. You can see right here. So now we're just going to kind of go around and lift it up. And we're not going to need this because the new head seal doesn't call for one of these little clips. It doesn't have one built in because there's a stock head seal, I'm assuming. So this, we'll save it just in case. Now, we're going to take a punch, this one, and bang down right here and get this head seal down in there. So, back on the stand. I'm just going to punch down that head seal that we just took that little clip off, all the way down, like I just did, until you can see this clip. Um, right there. Same thing for this one. Just gonna spread it apart. And this one is bent to shit because this doesn't have a bottom out bumper. It bottomed out. It must have fucked something up. So this one's not doing much of anything. The kit comes with a new one, which is good. You see, this one is all bent up. That's not good. But this is trash. So, in the trash. Now that that head seal's down. There is yet, holy shit, yet another clip inside there holding this in. You can see it right here, that one. I don't know why that clip was in there in the first place. That shouldn't have been in there, that clip. Someone, like I said, fucked this up. Same thing for that one. Yeah, that clip that I just took out was not supposed to be in here now that I look how this is set up. That was just someone being stupid. Um, so same thing with this one, I'm just going to push it down and pop it right out. And uh, we have a new one of these clips, is what, I'm, is what I was talking about. This kind of clip. And... Just kind of get it in there, or out of there. It's kind of a pain in the ass, so bear with me. This one's really hard to do. It's really tight. Yeah, 
And what you can see me doing is I'm using a couple of screwdrivers to get this out. Just kind of spread it apart, stick the second one under it, and then pull it out. And this is proving to be a little bit difficult, but it's all right. This is just showing you guys, you know, this is real time. All these videos are. So this is just showing you, you know, what a pain in the ass this can be if you're going to attempt it yourself. So, you know, it's all good. Okay, I got it. This is the new one, the new clip that we get with this. So I don't care about this clip. This is the one that's garbage too. Now that that's done, come over. No more clips in there. That's good. Take this whole shaft and pull it up, and the whole shaft and the seal and everything is going to come out. You can see it sliding up. Just wiggle and pull. Little by little, it'll come out. Tighten the vise up. Ah, oh, shit. Doing this one-handed is kind of hard. There we go. I'm going to need two hands for this. It's stuck on a, uh, a washer. As you can see right here, it's... Now that I got it out... This is the new head seal, by the way. It's stuck on this washer, and that's the new clip that it comes with. So we got to pull this real tight to get it out. Just gotta wiggle and pull. Oh shit. Nearly hit myself in the face of that. And here's the prize. The whole shock shaft, which is dripping nasty oil. This is, <laughs> there's a little smoke coming out. Holy shit. So that was what we were after. Um, let me show you guys this. This is pretty disgusting, too. This is the head seal. That is completely shot. This washer is shot. That's why it's so easy to pull out. I could have done that one-handed. Expect it to be a little harder, but... Um, this shaft... Doesn't have any peening on it. Doesn't look like... Someone's definitely rebuilt this, but I don't see the peening... Being ground off at all. It might have been. But normally... Especially on my shock... There'll be a little bit more threads here, and they'll go out this way. So you have to grind them down, just go and grind it down like that. So you get this nut and all the valve shims and everything off, and get this all apart. What I'm going to do now is get the bladder out of here, too. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Same idea. Where's my punch? Um, you're going to take your punch, and right here, bang it down until you can see a clip. I'm obviously going to do that right now. And once you see that little clip right there, pull it out with a pair or with a flathead. Um this kit does not come with a new clip for the bladder, so you got to got to keep this one safe. So don't lose it. You know, don't do anything stupid with it because you really need this one. There we go. Just gotta pry that out. So that's the clip. That goes into our parts. Next is the crazy part. All right, and this is crazy. Uh, this is what I did off camera with my air compressor. Uh, let me let, let me fill up my air compressor real quick. Give me a minute, guys. Get a tire filler gauge and hook it in your air compressor. If you don't have an air compressor, you can pull the threads of the valve with a uh, pliers. But you gotta be really careful and use the towel or something so you don't uh, squish that. Because then you won't be able to get your shock filled up again. So, I have my.
my compressor set to 40 psi, and safety goggles is key here, because there's dirt and shit everywhere. And I'm just gonna stick this on there and fill it with a little bit of air, real quick. And try and pop this out. And it's almost out. Gotta be careful though. This could go flying right out. Uh, let me watch out. Oh. Tap that evenly. You can see it kind of popping out. Put my hand over that. See if I can pull it. You just gotta keep doing this until you can get this bladder out. And there we go. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> what happened was the bladder cap came off. The whole bladder didn't actually come out. Just the cap. So now I'm gonna reach down in there and pull out the bladder. This guy. Which is a little warped. It's gonna have to do for now. Not my shock, so if it breaks then it's the owner's fault, but whatever. Throwing that in the part and spin. And that's all out now. So um that's gonna conclude this video. I'm just gonna drain the rest of the oil out of this. There's a little bit down in there where the bladder was. We're going to drain the rest out, and we will come back to get this taken apart and rebuilt. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.